हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द किंगडम फंजाई एंड वी हैड सीन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस किंगडम व्हाट आर द प्रॉपर्टीज एंड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ दिस सेल्स एंड व्हाट इज देयर मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन हाउ डू दे डू रिप्रोडक्शन बाय सेक्सुअल एंड ए सेक्सुअल मींस राइट देन सम जनरल फीचर्स वी हैड सीन वी हैड सीन सम वेरी interesting examples also like penicillium uh, which was used uh, for discovery of the first antibiotic right so by seeing this figure also you might recall that these kind of the mushrooms actually are very prevalent in nature you must have seen these kind of the organisms right and they are the members of the fungi bread mold and all we already had discussed we also had seen how unicellular organism yeast which is not a member of protista but it is a member of fungi and this yeast is very useful for the human kind from the time immemorial okay so after having discussed these general features and introductory portions about the kingdom fungi now we will discuss the classes of the fungi so fungi are mainly divided into four classes okay so these four classes are phycomycetes ascomycetes basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes so now we will discuss uh, here in this lecture we will try to discuss the first two classes okay so first of all we will discuss the first class which is phycomycetes phycomycetes as i had indicated to you earlier that they are uh, multicellular that means uh, sorry not multicellular multinucleated right that means their cell body contains many nuclei in a single protoplasm so this kind of arrangement of the cells is called as multinucleate or cynocytic so they have the mycelium which is cynocytic and there is no septa or cross wall which is present that means they are aseptic okay so the phycomycetes fungi are aseptic and uh, they are cynocytic so this is very important and you have to remember because this is the only class of the fungi which is aseptic and cynocytic so now we will when we are going to study these classes of the fungi we already have seen the general characteristics and uh, general features of the fungi for these classes the important things which we have to consider is that what is their habitat where do they live right and what kind of food material do they eat that means what is their mode of nutrition and how they do they reproduce what is the mode of reproduction so these basic things we will be dealing with तो हमको सबसे पहले जब भी हम डिस्कस करेंगे तो हमें ये चीज कंपोनेंट्स पे ध्यान रखना है कि उसका मॉर्फोलॉजी क्या है कैसा दिखता है ठीक और कहाँ रहता है उसका हैबिटेट क्या है किस तरह की चीज़ें खाता पीता है और कैसे उसका रिप्रोडक्शन होता है यानी वो अपने आप को सर्वाइव और प्रोपोगेट कैसे करता है अपनी स्पीशीज़ को राइट तो ये बेसिक फीचर्स है किसी भी ऑर्गेनिज़म के तो हमको शॉर्ट में बस यही चीज़ें देखनी है सो दी हैबिटेट ऑफ फाइकोमाइसिटीज इज uh aquatic habitat it may be found in the aquatic habitat that means in the water uh, uh then it is also found in the moist and damp places maybe on soil or wood or brick or stones so anything which is moist and damp there the fungi can grow okay so the decaying wood is the very uh, famous place and very well known place for the growth of this kind of the uh, fungi you must have observed on the decaying logs of the wood you will see this kind of the umbrella like small white kind of structures or sometimes blackish structures okay so this is their mode of habitat uh, for the phycomycetes then uh, uh, mode of nutrition we already have seen that they are saprophytic okay and how do they reproduce the reproduction is uh, by asexual spores or by sexual methods so in the asexual method they produce the phycomycetes produce 
मेनली टू काइंड ऑफ द स्पोर्स जू स्पोर्स एंड ए प्लेनो स्पोर्स ओके जू स्पोर्स वी ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट जू स्पोर्स आर द स्पोर्स विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड दे आर मोटाइल ओके दैट मीन्स दीज गई मीड्स दीज स्पोर्स दे कैन मूव अराउंड सो हाउ दे विल मूव दे विल मूव विद द हेल्प ऑफ द फ्लेजिला सो जू स्पोर्स आर मोटाइल एंड ए सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ऑफ द फाइकोमाइसिटीज इन्वॉल्व द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द जू स्पोर्स फॉर सेवरल स्पीशीज देन मैनी स्पीशीज रिप्रोड्यूस बाई फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द ए प्लेनो स्पोर्स विच आर नॉट मोटाइल ओके एंड दीज स्पोर्स दिस ए सेक्सुअल स्पोर्स विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द फाइकोमाइसिटीज दे आर प्रोड्यूस्ड एक्चुअली एंडोजीनसली ओके so endogenously means they will be produced not outside not exposed rather they will be produced inside something so they are produced inside the fruiting bodies called as sporangium okay sporangium kya hota hai ek bag like structure hota hai ek sac like structure hai usko sporangium bolte hain and they are produced uh, these uh, they are produced uh, endogenously so this is important सी देर आर मैनी स्पोर्ट्स विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड एंडोजीनसली देर आर मैनी स्पोर्ट्स विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड एक्सोजीनसली एंड मैनी क्वेश्चन आर आस्ड बेस्ड ऑन दीज कॉन्सेप्ट ओके सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट फाइको माइसिटीज प्रोड्यूस प्रोड्यूस जू स्पोर्ट्स एंड ए प्लेनो स्पोर्ट्स एंडोजीनसली वेन वी सी सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन में क्या होता है हमने देखा था कि दो तरह के गैमिट्स होते हैं और वो फ्यूज होते हैं जाइगोड बनाते हैं और उस जाइगोड का फिर से मायोसिस होता है और उससे फिर स्पोर्स बनते हैं ठीक सो इन दिस वे द जाइगोड एक्चुअली इज फॉर्म्ड ऑलवेज इन द सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड दिस जाइगोड आफ्टर मायोसिस फॉर्म्स ए स्पोर्स एंड दिस स्पोर्स इन द फाइकोमाइसिटीज आर कॉल्ड इज जाइगो स्पोर्स ओके एंड द स्पोर्स विच आर फॉर्म्ड आफ्टर दिस मायोसिस दे मे बी सिमिलर इन द शेप एंड साइज और दे में भी डिसिमिलर इन द शेप ऑफ साइज ये दोनों सिमिलर हैं एक जैसे हैं और यहाँ पे एक काफ़ी छोटा है एक काफ़ी बड़ा है ओके तो अगर दोनों सिमिलर हैं तो उसको आइसोगेमस बोलते हैं आइसोगेमस गेमिट्स आइसोगेमस मॉड ऑफ द गेमिट फॉर्मेशन तो ये आइसोगेमस हैं अगर सिमिलर हैं अगर डिसिमिलर हैं यानी कि डिफरेंट काइंड्स उनका अपियरेंस है तो दे विल बी कॉल्ड एज एन आइसो गेमस एंड दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ऊ गेमस ओके सो दिस असाइनमेंट ऑफ आइसो गेमस और ऊ गेमस फॉर द गेमिट फॉर्मेशन इज इज बेस्ड ऑन द मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ द गेमिट्स राइट दैट मीन्स हाउ डू दे लुक लाइक वाट इज देयर एक्सटर्नल अपेयरेंस हाउ वाट इज देयर शेप एंड साइज so uh, this is about the reproduction so zoospores aplanospores and zygospores these three kinds of the spores are produced and uh, the examples these three examples are very very important you must remember all these three examples okay we will uh, we may see some more examples uh, when we go for advanced uh, topics of this chapter later on so the best example most famous example is mucor okay so here because it is a scientific name that is why i have underlined it so this is just the name of the species uh, sorry this is just the name of the genus right A species name i have not written so that means it uh, mucor may have many species also right so mucor is a member of phycomycetes then rhizopus is the द फेमस ब्रेड मोल्ड ओके जब आप ब्रेड को रखते हैं फ्रिज के अंदर उस पर जो फंगस लग जाता है उसको बोलते हैं राइजोपस राइट सो अभी तक आपने उसका सिर्फ देखा था यू आर नॉट फेमिलियर विद द साइंटिफिक नेम ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर फंगस एंड दैट फंगस इज नेम्ड एज राइजोपस ओके देन वी हैड सीन दैट एडिसीज इन द मस्टर्ड प्लांट इज कॉल्ड बाई द फंगस वेर द लीव्स एक्चुअली शो द वाइट स्पॉट्स ऑन दम so these white spots on the mustard leaves are caused due to a parasitic species of the fungus and this species belongs to the phycomycetes and the name of this species is albigo okay albigo causes white spot on mustard leaves so uh 
in this way the phycomycetes group of the fungi uh, they are very primitive they are the first class of the uh, phycomy uh, of the fungi and they have other features like uh, they have the cell wall made up of the chitin and polysaccharide so let me also just remind you here once again that if uh, it is asked to you that you write a short note on phycomycetes or uh, uh, describe phycomycetes then just don't start right from here what you have to do first you have to introduce about the general characteristics of the uh, fungi because those general characteristics of the fungi will be applicable to phycomycetes okay so you have to tell that they are eukaryotic organisms they have a well defined nuclear membrane they have nucleus and they have cell wall which is made up of chitin and polysaccharides but not made up of the cellulose right and their mode of nutrition is heterotrophic they are mainly saprophytic many are parasitic also many are symbiotic okay so those things you can describe and then uh, the sexual reproduction can be by both asexual and sexual means those things you can discuss and then uh, the whenever there is sexual reproduction it may happen by the formation of the dikaryon or uh, dikaryophase uh, rather you have to more emphasize on the formation of the zygote because dikaryophase is not observed in all the classes of the fungi so in the class where dikaryophage is observed there you have to elaborate on that otherwise uh, you just have to tell about the plasmogamy you have to mention about the karyogamy and then how the haploid spores will be found from the zygote by the process of meiosis okay so those things you will have to mention you will also have to tell about the uh, habitat that uh, where these fungi are mainly formed so after discussing those general features then you can tell specifically about phygomycetes okay uh, and uh, if the question is a long question type then uh, you also can elaborate on certain things that you can define what is hyphae what is mycelium what is the meaning of the uh, septa what is the uh, sinusitic those things also you can mention depending on uh, how long you have to write the answer okay so uh then now let us come to the uh, second uh, now let us come to the second class which is ascomycetes so ascomycetes actually are also called as sac fungi and ascus ka matlab hota hai sac okay ascus a s c u s ascus ka matlab hota hai sac so because of the presence of the a unique bag like structure in this class of the fungi they are also called as sac fungi okay so ye bag kab banta hai during the formation of the spores actually this bag like structure or ascus is formed many times usually what happens that many fruiting bodies many bag like structures will be formed and they are called as sci so plural is si a s c i and singular is ascus okay so the ascomycetes members can be unicellular or they can be multicellular okay so here you have to remember that the unicellular organism of the fungi which is very famous uh, we have been discussing about it uh, it is yeast or mm. the scientific name is saccharomyces cerevisiae so this belongs to the member of ascomycetes okay so it may be unicellular but mostly they will be multicellular that means they will be filamentous and many cells will be associated with each other okay so multicellular ka example hai a uh, penicillium so penicillium the very famous uh, the famous fungi for the discovery of the antibiotics belongs to the kingdom ascomycetes okay to humne ye dekh liya ki uh, ascomycetes iska naam kyun rakha gaya hai aur uske cells jo hai wo unicellular ya multicellular ho sakta hai uske baad next topic jo hai उसका हम देखते हैं न्यूट्रिशन की किस तरह से ये अपना फूड ऑप्टेन करता है तो न्यूट्रिशन एज ऑल द फंजाई आर ऑलवेज आर सेप्रोफाइटिक सो मैनी मेंबर्स आर आल्सो सेप्रोफाइटिक दैट मींस दे विल बी डिकम्पोजर्स दे विल फीड ऑन डेड एंड डिकेइंग मैटर ऑफ द प्लांट्स आर एनिमल्स राइट मैनी फंजाई ऑल्सो ग्रो ऑन द एक्सक्रीटा और फीसेस और डंग ऑफ द कैटल राइट सो दे आर कॉल्ड एज कॉप्रोफाइलस 
कॉप्रो रिफर्स टू द एक्सक्रीटा और डंग एंड फाइलस मीन्स लाइकिंग सो दोज हु लाइक द डंग हु ग्रो ऑन देम दे आर कॉल्ड एज कॉप्रोफाइलस मैनी ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर देयर हु फीड ऑन द फीसेज दे आर कॉल्ड एज कॉप्रोफाइलस सो पिग इज ऑल्सो कॉप्रोफाइलस इट फीड्स ऑन द ह्यूमन एक्सक्रीटा राइट सो दीज एस्कोमाइसिटीज आर कॉप्रोफाइलस दैट मीन्स दे ग्रो ऑन दीज एक्सक्रीटा those which directly feed on them like uh, pig or mouse which uh, can eat their own excreta they are called as coprophagous okay the better term is coprophagous phagous means uh, eating so coprophilus means growing on the excreta so they may be saprophytic they may be coprophilus and many times they are also parasitic and the mycelium as we had seen in the phycomycetes that the mycelium was very primitive that means it was cenocytic it was aseptate but here the mycelium is septate and it is not cenocytic okay so the mycelium is not cenocytic and it is septate that means cross walls will be there and the nuclei will be separated by these walls okay and moreover this mycelium will have the Uh, these hyphae which are branched so branched hyphae or branched mycelium will be the characteristic feature of the ascomycetes in the phycomycetes let me tell you that the mycelium is unbranched but in the ascomycetes the mycelium is branched okay so branched mycelium is considered more advanced and uh, this is a uh, evolution evolutionarily branched fungi are actually more advanced and they have evolved later on so this is about the habitat uh, so uh, this is about the nutrition that where, uh, where do they grow on and what thing they feed upon now for the reproduction they again uh, like phycomycetes they may reproduce by asexual spores or formation of the sexual spores so asexual spores asexual reproduction actually involves mainly the formation of the conidia okay so conidia or conidio spores so these are the very different very unique and characteristic kind of the spores and conidio spores are actually non motile spores and they are produced exogenously okay so here i have drawn it for you you can see that this is a uh, fruiting body so this uh, kind of structure is formed on the growing mycelium where you have these many uh, finger like projections start coming up and on them these uh, spore like structures start appearing and later on they can get detached from here so that means these spores are formed exogenously right ye bahar ki taraf aise bante hain aur ye idhar nikalte jayenge and this kind of structure uh, is called as uh, fruiting body so the fruiting body of the conidio spores is called as conidio spore so conidio spore actually is the structure it is the body on which the conidio spores are produced okay and they are being produced exogenously earlier we had seen that uh, zoospores and aploeno spores in the phycomycetes were being produced endogenously here you have to see these are produced and exogenously okay so this you have to remember so these conidio spores are produced on the fruiting body conidio spore uh, which develops on the uh, mycelium and once these conidio spores are released they come out they can disperse by the uh, water or air currents and they can uh, go to distant places and then again they can germinate so after germination the each conidio spore or conidia will again give rise to the uh, parental body of the fungi which is the mycelium the septate branched mycelium will be formed so the conidio spore are produced in the ascomycetes okay aploeno spores are produced in the phycomycetes so this was about asexual reproduction now in the sexual reproduction this is very unique spores they are called as ascospores so ascospores 
are formed and as actually it is the on the basis of these ascospores uh, or the si that this class has been named so ascomycetes produce ascospores during the sexual reproduction ye aapko yaad rakhna hai ascomycetes produce ascospores during the sexual reproduction what are ascospores ascospores are the spores which are produced by the sexual mode of reproduction and these spores are produced not exogenously but endogenously inside a structure inside a fruiting body called as एस्कस ओके तो हमने पहले देखा था कि कोनीडिया जो है एक्सोजीनसली होता है लेकिन एस्कोस्पोर्स जो है वो इंडोजेनसली एक ये देखिए आप हेयर दिस इज सेक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एस्कस विद इन द सेक मैनी स्पोर्स वेर प्रोड्यूस्ड सो दिस इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बींग प्रोड्यूस्ड इन साइड द फ्रोटिंग बॉडी नॉट आउट साइड लाइक अनलाइक हेयर ओके सो यू कैन सी दैट दे आर प्रोड्यूस्ड एंडोजीनसली सो in the ascus that is why they are called as ascospores and ascospores are the characteristic feature of the ascomycetes okay and the fruiting body this si uh, is developed on the specialized structure after differentiation and that fruiting body is called as ascocarp okay so like we had seen that conidia are produced on the conidio four similarly ascospores are produced on the एस्को कार्प सो एस्को कार्प कंटेन्स लॉट ऑफ एस आई एंड दिज एस आई कंटेन एस्को स्पोर्स ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन द एस्कोमाइसिटीज सो नाउ यू हैव ए वेरी फेयर आइडिया दैट वाट फीचर्स द एस्कोमाइसिटीज कंटेन राइट वो किस तरह के होते हैं यूनिसेलर होते हैं या फिर मल्टी सेलर होते हैं वो किस तरह से न्यूट्रिशन ऑप्टेन करते हैं कहाँ पर रहते हैं का प्रोफाइलस हो सकते हैं पैरासाइटिक हो सकते हैं सेप्रोफाइटिक तो सारे फंजाई होते ही हैं राइट माइसिलियम किस तरह से लग दिखता है उसका उसके बाद रिप्रोडक्शन की बात की जाए तो ए सेक्सुअल मीन्स से रिप्रोडक्शन कैसे होता है और सेक्सुअल मीन्स से रिप्रोडक्शन जो है वो किस तरह के स्पोर्स फॉर्मेशन से होता है सो द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द एस्कोमाइसिटीज इन्वॉल्व क्लेविसेप्स तो क्लेविसेप्स इज ए वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द एस्कोमाइसिटीज then you have neurospora crassa so neurospora crassa is a very famous uh, fungi and it belongs to ascomycetes just like the rhizopus which is bread mold we had seen in the phycomycetes this neurospora crassa is a very popular and very well known very famous uh, fungi so why neurospora crassa is very famous because this has been used from a very long time as a model organism for the scientific studies so neurospora crassa is a particular species and you can also write only neurospora if you just don't want to mention the species name crassa so claviceps and neurospora okay so why i have written neurospora crassa because neurospora crassa uh, is asked many times in the examinations also if in the mcq you have this crassa option also then you might get confused that's why i have mentioned so neurospora crassa is has been used as a genetic model for the studies and it has been also used for a lot of biochemical works to study the metabolic processes okay many metabolic pathways are studied in the simple organisms so uh, then uh, this organism can be utilized many genetic phenomena have been uh, studied in the neurospora crassa uh, there are many model organisms like fruit fly drosophila or sometimes you study rabbit or mouse right so similarly uh, many studies are conducted in this this fungi also and they can give a very great insight and they are very easy to maintain as you know that they are saprophytes they are decomposers so they can just grow on very simple materials you don't have to give uh, expensive Uh, food to these organisms for growing in the lab so that is why they are preferred and they are simple organisms they can be maintained and uh, they can be grown uh, cheaply and they can be studied in a short time period so there are many famous scientists also which are associated with neurospora crassa uh, 
all those details we uh, some details we will see in the next year okay when we study the genetics that how it has helped to understand some of the characteristics then uh, the morels and buffels they this is the common name this is not scientific name that is why it starts from the small letter or you can also write by the capital letter but uh, see, i have not underlined it over here right so you can see that claviceps and neurospora they are scientific names so there is a so you have to follow the convention the norm which is laid by the for the binomial nomenclature but morels and buffels this is the just general term so morels and buffels they are also the kind of fungi and they belong to the class ascomycetes of kingdom fungi and they are edible they are used for the vegetable delicacies and uh, many people like them and uh, prepare uh, nutritious food in the kitchen uh, using morels and buffels so now we have uh, discussed phycomycetes and ascomycetes so i think uh, now we will stop here we will discuss the abecedium mycetes and deuterium mycetes in the next lecture okay so keep noting the important points and uh, i think that you are following the lectures i am not uh, uh, seeing many questions coming up so i urge you all don't hesitate if you have any doubts then feel free to ask me okay and uh, if you are understanding everything if you don't have a doubt then it's wonderful it's very great but uh, sometimes that does not happen okay so just keep learning keep noting down important points and feel free to ask me if you have any doubts stay safe happy learning bye bye